Hello guys, Nick here, and welcome to my uh, commentary video. Today, I'm going to talk about why I quit playing GTA 5. Now, there are many reasons to why I quit. Not because the missions were hard. Actually, they weren't, but, you know. But it's mainly because of GTA Online. Alright, so, after I played um, GTA Story Mode, I'm like, you know what, maybe I'm going to get into online a lot more often. So I did. Christmas 2014, I think. Or 15, I don't know. But I got GTA 5 for Christmas for my Xbox 360. And, um, yeah, I, I completed story mode. I got into online mode. And, um, one day I decided to join one of those, um, bullshit, uh, death matches that say earn, you know, RP and unlimited money, you know, all that stupid shit. But, um, yeah, so I went into the round, and, um, this guy was, he was dropping money on some other person. And so I decided to, um, you know, circle all around him, because obviously he was dropping money, and I was, like, 10 or 11 at the time that I first started playing. So, um, yeah, I'm like, oh my god, I have twelve thousand dollars just from playing a stupid death match. Wow, I'm I'm rich. So I got my I got a T twenty, I got every gun in the game except for the minigun because I was I wasn't the level at the time. And then you know what? It was pretty great. But me the dumbest I am, I uh decided to spend all my money on cars and cars only. And that caused me to lose a lot of money, which caused me to sell my T20. So here I am with one million dollars. I am running out of money and um, I keep buying upgrades for this one specific car. I think it was an LG. Yeah, I was a pretty dumb kid back then. Well, I still am a kid, but I was pretty dumb back then, but <laughs> whatever, you get the point. Anyways, so yeah, after um, I was in the uh, ten thousands of my money, I thought, hey, you know what? I can try to sell my apartment, which by the way, you can't. So, I had to downgrade to a, what, that black apartment? I don't know, I'll show it on screen. But, um, yeah, so I had to downgrade to that apartment because I was an, I was an idiot and I wish, and I just threw $100,000 down the toilet. A couple months later, I'm just chilling, getting some cars for Simeon. Then all of a sudden, this, I get an achievement. Now, the achievement... In particular, I didn't know what it meant, but I looked in the description, and it kind of made my heart sink. The achievement was, get rank 100. And you know what? I immediately realized, all of my progress that was earned legitimately, <laughs> down the fucking drain. And you know what? There are probably some people in the comments, they're like, Ugh, Nick, what? You're, you're like 14 or 13, what the f- why are you playing GTA when you're just a little kid? It's it's rated M, dude. I, you know what? The SRB, to be honest, doesn't really matter. I guess. I don't know. Because if you look at the things that kids are playing these days, like Call of Duty and... Hell, even... I don't know, fucking Borderlands. And even Fallout, by the way. You'll learn that the ratings don't even matter, to be honest. So yeah. My, uh... My RP goes to... I think 300 to 100. Yeah, I think it was 100. And then I lock every single one of the outfits in game. And guess how many heists I completed? That's right, two. Two heists completed. And then it had to be ripped away from me. And by that, I mean I didn't have to work for my level. And you know what? Some people are like, oh, but that's, that's a good thing. No, it isn't. Because that totally takes the fun out of the game because once you're level 100 you unlock everything and once everything is unlocked then what else is there to do and you know what once that happened to me a couple days later or just a few i guess a year ago i'm like you know what i'm gonna throw it out the towel i'm done with this game and i'm probably never gonna go back to it again because it's complete bullshit like i know the 360s outdated but come on Look through the Steam reviews on uh, GTA 5, like the reviews on Steam. Guess what? Mixed. Mixed reviews. You want to know why? 
because the cheat system is broken. That's right, it's broken. It's broken. And you would and you would think that Rockstar, a multi-million dollar gaming company, would have better I don't know, moderation systems. But no. There's even this one guy that um he was grinding his ass off for um the mastermind thing. It's where you complete a heist on hard mode without losing lives. And um and your reward for doing that is ten million dollars. And it's actually legit. Well, it turns out, a couple days later, his progress was wiped because the moderation system thought he was modding. So it, it hell, it even took him he even said it took him months. It took him months to to complete the mastermind challenge. And you know what? There are such more flaws to GTA five. Which I'm, uh, I don't know. I don't know how people are getting away with this. I again, I know it's the 360 and PS3 if you're a PlayStation player. But for God's sake, just, just get a better moderation system. And you know what? Maybe I'll come back. But now that my level is 100, I'm not gonna spend about a year and a half getting back getting my level back to 50. And yes, I did spend a year and a half because I, uh, I like to play other games, you know? So, um, yeah, that's why I quit GTA 5, and I most likely will not come back to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Also, uh, leave a comment and, uh, share this with your friends because I'm pretty sure they play GTA 5 and have the same opinions that I do. Anyways, I'm Nick, and I'm saying goodbye.